off from the home of the Rangers. We're at Globe Life Field in Arlington. Today, a contest from the AL West between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Texas Rangers. Alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak and guys, the Angels have played well in the series so far, winning the first two in this three-game set. Yeah, and to sweep this team right here would be a huge momentum boost. It is not easy to sweep a series. I don't care if it's three games or four games. I think back to Bobby Cox. His big thing was you just want to win series. Two out of three, three out of four. But when you have a chance to sweep a team, you have to take advantage of it. Davey Garcia will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey Matt we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately ERA over five in his last three starts so he's going to have to really improve on that one too many base runners too many hits and too many walks he needs to get off to a good start and maybe throw up a zero in the first inning. Now here's the pitch. This one's down to third fielded cleanly and that's out number one. So to get his day started at the plate Seth Beer tried to get it going at the plate it's been tough sledding for him so far this year. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. Who started him with the change and it's nothing in one. Fellas, this Rangers ball club, as they begin play, they've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Matt, things haven't gone too well so far in this series, d -Row. They're looking to avoid the sweep here in this one. Yeah, get, they got to get off in the early innings. It's, it's going to be monumental if they can push a few runs across and give this pitcher a chance to relax. Ahmed ranges back, and he has it for route number two. The center fielder. Now at the plate is Mike. Mike Trout and if you remember he took home a silver slugger award for AL outfielders a year ago. Here's the first pitch to him. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. Slow roller down the third baseline. Gonna be a tough play. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. Angels nothing. Rangers coming to bat. You're watching MLB Network. John Means gets the ball in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him Danny. Hey when you look up the word dependability in the dictionary you'll find a picture of this guy career ERA just under three point five and that's saying quite a lot in the high scoring games that we see in baseball going on right now. Real solid pitcher controls the running game controls the strike zone and more importantly he knows how to get deep into the sixth seventh and eighth inning solid pitcher and he'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Steel Walker is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. These Angels as they enter play here this afternoon fellas have run their win streak up to six in a row now and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Yeah Matty this is one of those special moments throughout the course of the season where everyone kind of looks around the clubhouse and takes stock six in a row you have a chance to rattle off a seventh you start saying hey maybe something special is going to happen this summer. Protecting with two strikes went out of the zone that time but he stays alive. Put that in a memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there and it's a pretty good one. Pulled toward right center field. And that'll hop over the wall out there as he starts the home first with a ground rule double. Well he definitely puts a charge into this one and the outfielder has zero chance to make a play on it. Next thing you know the relievers in the pen have another ball to warm up with. In now Davis Wenzel as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. 
He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 1 0. Heading out towards shallow right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? Oh, So now here is Roger O'Doul looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. One out and a runner on second base. Two and zero. The count to the Rangers' left fielder. That's a pretty tough spot for him to deal with in the first inning. Runner in scoring position already, and now he's got the three hitter salivating in a good hitter's count. Got him fishing for that one. Two balls and a strike. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. Ready with two balls and a strike. Swing and a line drive. That's in there. Base hit. Walker rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Hey, this team's been in a pretty bad funk deal. Well, they've had a difficult time scoring and winning any game. So to strike early that RBI single right there is awfully big. Yeah and hopefully the pitcher is able to breathe a sigh of relief Dan like you say all the time. Give me some early runs and let me relax and attack the zone. I've always said to you score me six runs I'm going to win a lot of games. <laughs> Nate Lowe digging in now. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Lifetime versus this arm. He's four for 13. He also has one home run. O'Doul leads off first with one away. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get back in safely. The 0 1 pitch. In there, and it's 0 2 now. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. You know, you got to take your time and feel Joe McDonald out behind the dish a little bit. He has a tendency to move his zone around, usually set, settling in in those middle innings. You know, all you ask for an umpire is to be consistent. At times, Joe Mack is a little bit too inconsistent, particularly from a pitcher standpoint. The one two swing and a miss on the breaking pitch two away now to bat Ryan McBroom he went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. Prior to the at bat a check on first and he is tagged out here boy a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. It's a run on two hits here for Texas. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch fouled off. No offer at that point. It's a cold strike. Well, as mentioned in the open of the broadcast, the Halos have their sights set on a series sweep here today. 
Sure does. And it's always difficult to sweep and win a series on the road, especially when you're playing a division opponent. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And it certainly helps when you're throwing your ace on the mound in the series finale. Can't ask for much more than that. One of the keys when you show up to the ballpark and you're going for a sweep, you look at that lineup card, you see your ace pitcher is on the mound. You have to feel awfully good about your chances to complete the sweep. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Joey Gallo goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. Now the pitch. Jared Walsh comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Of course, in order to achieve said sweep, they'll need to overcome this early one-run deficit. When you're playing as well as this team is right now, they've got them right where they want them. They're only down one early in this one, and when you've won a couple of games in a row already, you have that feeling you can certainly come back and win this one. One out, nobody on. And that misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking that guy. He's capable of taking deep every time he digs in, so it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. Stepping in next, Javier Baez. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Pause now the pitch. The 1 0 home. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. One there. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set. Here it comes. Now a throw over. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. A runner on first with two away. Two and oh now. Use the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat mouse game continues on. Runner, runner, runner goes. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. That's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. With two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's safe, he's in scoring position and a lot easier to drive in. The 2 1 pitch. Here's a ground ball for Ahmed at short. Scooped up. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Angels leave one. They still trail 1 0. Last half of the second set to go and set to go is the veteran first baseman Ryan McBroom. Now here's the pitch. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Takes this the other way to right. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. That is good. Not shortstop. Nick. Oh, man. At the plate now is Nick Ahmed, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. the stretch here's the pitch and that's in there for a strike 
Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. One ball, one strike to count. A curveball hit right back at him. To second for one. On to first, and they get them both. Batting seven. The third baseman, Jordan. Cowher. So base is empty now after the double play. And standing in is the rookie third baseman, Jordan Cowan. First pitch on its way. Hit on the ground toward the left. Reined in. Over to first, and that retires the side. Rangers go down quickly there. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Now at the plate, Reese McGuire. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. First pitch coming, here it is. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. The 2 0 on the way. That's lifted the other way out to left. Oduel is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first out. So with one away, a couple of teams out of the AL West doing battle in this one. So let's check out where they sit in the standings entering play here today. Up next, Jamer Candelario. And he's been tearing the cover off the ball these past few days, as you see there. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Angel still looking for hit number one in the ballgame. In there, one and one. Ground ball right side, straight into the shift. He's got it. Throw in time at first for out number two. Next to stand in is Willie Castro, grounded out in his last at bat. And now the first pitch. The 0 1. So two pitches in a row on the outside corner for strikes. You think he stays out there? I think he does. One thing you don't want to do, though, Matt, it's not a good idea to throw the same hitter, the same pitch three times in a row, back to back to back, but I think he might throw it here. Hit on the ground out to short. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. Boy, there's a quality infield base hit right there. That kind of reminded me of the old Yankee shortstop Derek Jeter on that jump throw. Hey, that's why this is the pros. Back in the day, that's a knock all day long. But up here, guys are making those plays, at least making you think about them. That's an amazing play by the shortstop to leave his feet and at least make this close. To the plate now, Seth Beer. Ground ball sent back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Two quick outs from the 8-9 guys in the order, but the top of the order, it's a different story. A knock and then another single back-to-back, -back, and now you got traffic with the big guys coming up. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. 0 for 1 for him here in this one.
comes set the 0 1. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. That misses one and two. One and two. Here it is. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there. One and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Angels strand a couple. They trail this one one to nothing. Now into the box, Clint Frazier. And he comes into this one having hit safely in his last five games. Clint Frazier. First offering on its way as he oh, looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Grounded back up the middle. Baez has it. And there's one down now. And now in the box, Tony Walters for his career in this matchup. He's one for two. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Walters, a former Pittsburgh Pirate, he came here by way of trade earlier this year. I know he'd tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. 2 0 now. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And this is going to be a foul ball. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And it's fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that now location. So a good field. job there of exploiting Steel. that. That can be real hard for some guys Walker. to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Stepping in now, Steel Walker. Now look oh, out oh, as he's got to hit the deck here. It's ball one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. The 1 0 is a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Two out, nobody on. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. No doubt he's clearly fighting his mechanics. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. The three one. 
Bases are empty here with two men out. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Ready now is Davis Wenzel. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Throw over to the bag. From the stretch. Walker is off of first with two away. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. A ball and two strikes now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. One left for Texas, but they're on top one to nothing. Here's Joey Gallo now as we begin the top of the fourth. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Inside, ball one. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. I changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Swing and a foul tip, but that's held onto behind the plate. It's a strikeout for route number one. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work, but I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Into the box, Jared Walsh. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He'll come into this one with an average way down at 235. Two home runs and six RBIs. Now the 1 0. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. So it was a strikeout looking there. Jared Walsh is sent packing for the second out of the inning. Javier Maya. Here's Javier Baez. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. That evens it up 1 and 1. Now here's the pitch. 
on they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now. Hey he's got great feel for that pitch right there he can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. And he struck him out so a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. So a pitching clinic there as he sets him down in order all via the punch out. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Bottom of the inning now and coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder Roger O'Doul. First pitch of the A.B. now. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. O'Doul, a 5 foot 10 inch switch hitter. He's in his third season as a major league player. Right side. LeMayhew's got it. And a good throw gets him one gun. Now that. Now to the plate here is Nate Lowe comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch on the way. Yanked the slider across that time laid off for a ball. Strike called tough to do much with that one. Fouled away. Here comes the one two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone and he still swung at it. So now to the plate Ryan McBroom as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He collected a base hit his first time up. The one and no delivery. Looked like the fastball got away from him there it's ball two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there a big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Now the 2 1 high and deep down the left field line and it's a foul ball. The 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it uh, we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Rangers set down in order, but they're up one to nothing. Welcome back to Arlington. Before we get much further, let's check in with Heidi. Matt I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels offense with their manager between innings and one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at bats right now. He said that they're playing right into the pitchers game plan today by expanding the strike zone way too often instead of swinging at pitches in the strike zone that they can do something with they're often chasing at pitches out of the zone which is resulting in a lot of their outs going forward they have to start being more selective guys. Good stuff Heidi thanks. Here's the second baseman D.J. LeMayhew. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure Matt that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Here's the first pitch. Oh, 
the 1 0 home. Now here's a line drive that will make it out into left center and he's going to have himself a leadoff single. The batter, number seven. At the plate now, Reese McGuire. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. There's one. Return throw not in time, and that turned into a closer play than I thought it would at first sight. Now at the plate, here is Jamer Candelario. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. As he lines it out to center, and that's in there. Base hit. Long throw to third. Throw won't get him. Hey, that's a beautiful job of executing a hit and run right there. Pretty interesting. Must have known he was going to try and get over the heart of the plate right there with something either fastball or something off speed because he was coming unglued. Oh, oh. Into the box now, Willie Castro. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 0 and 1 delivery lifted the other way out to left center. Long run for the center fielder makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And the run will come in to score from third as that'll knock things up at one apiece. The bat. Next to dig in, Seth Beer. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Now here's the first offering. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Candelario, the runner at first with two gone. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And that is off the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Here's the center fielder Mike Trout as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh 0 for two from him so far in this one. Top, it's 2 and 0. Aye. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Hey, you get 2 0, your eyes light up, but you're sitting in one spot, and he obviously didn't get it right there. But he still finds himself in a 2 1 count, ready to do some damage. 2 and 1, here it is. Two balls and two strikes now. Oh. 
base hit. Line drive into the corner. Throw to second, but he's in there as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. Up next for the Angels. Well, maybe the tables have turned a bit. Earlier in the game, the pitcher had his way with him, but he wins the battle this time, and in a big way, two runs on the board as a result. Standing in now, Joey Gallo. Pitch inside the throw. And he will be nailed at third on a questionable decision to say the least and the inning is over. So they pick up three runs on four base hits. No errors and no one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Halos lead this one three to one. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs. But he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the way. way to go for the All right, thanks, Heidi. Not shortstop. Nick. Oh, man. First pitch of the A-B now. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Now the 2-0 home. Finds the zone, strike one. He's gotten a favorable call or two at the plate in this at bat, so that take on 2-0 and is probably a result of feeling like the umpires got a pretty tight zone. Didn't go his way that time, though. To the left side, but it's well foul. Here's the pitch on two and two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a two two pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. Now the third baseman, Jordan. So stepping in is Jordan Cowan. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now the first pitch. And that misses for ball one. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2 and 0 now. Pitch on the way. Two balls and a strike. If he's going to dial up 2 0 change ups and have a good feel for it, this offense is going to have trouble breaking through against this guy. And that one yanked just foul. 3 to 1 our score as we play inning number five. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Fouled off. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And he's going to make the play over toward his right, and there are two away now. So the bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Clint Frazier. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. One and one, the count to Clint Frazier. One run on three hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. 
Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends Catcher. his hitting streak to no six days. games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Oh, six God. days in a row with knocks will help you sleep better at night, Dan. That'll bring up Tony Walters. A great opportunity for him here in a run scoring spot now following the two out double. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. So they can't make anything out of the two out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. set for the start of the inning and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder Joey Gallo. Here's the first pitch to him. Change up called strike one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. And this will be fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. Stepping in now, Jared Walsh. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Two balls and a strike to the Angels' first baseman. This is pulled into right. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Two men are out now in the Angels sixth and into bat next the versatile weapon Javier Baez. Here it comes. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. And it's one and one. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. The pitch.
And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Well, it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Three runs, six hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Angels go down one, two, three, as the lead remains three to one. Leading off the inning, it'll be Steel Walker as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now, but this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. And now we see a right hander up and throwing in the Angel bullpen. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Changes up on him there, but it's one and two. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. Still one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And it's fouled away. Count still at one and two. Soft grounder left side. Scooped up. And there's one away. So with one away, a couple of teams out of the AL West doing battle in this one. So let's check out where they sit in the standings entering play here today. Next up, Davis Wenzel. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Ball one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on one and one. And the pitch. On that fastball's too much for him there, one and two. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. In the air, down the line, and left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. He wants that changeup back right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Hitter was just a smidge out in front. Three and two now. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. He's racking up a fair amount of strikeouts now out there. That's sixth at this point. So he's got good stuff, and he's fooling a lot of these hitters. In now, Roger O'Doul. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. A hit in two tries for him so far. The wind up and the 0 1. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Swing and a liner. 
But this will not get down quickly enough as it's pulled in out there in center, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Luis Garcia is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring up DJ LeMayhew. The second base. DJ LeMayhew. Now here's the first offering. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. That's over but low it's a ball and a strike. And now the Ranger bullpen swings into action a lefty and a right hander are throwing down there. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. To two balls and two strikes now. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. Frazier is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Next up is Reese McGuire. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First offering on its way. Oh, started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Fastball called for strike two. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Lifted the other way out to left center. O'Doul will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. The next batter is Jamer Candelario. One for two on his line so far in the game. First pitch on its way. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Angels are gone in order, and it's still three to one. Tristan McKenzie will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and now Will here's Nate Lowe. The designated hitter, Nate Lowe. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now.
And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Next, it'll be Ryan McBroom. He's one for two in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Got him swinging in the dirt. McGuire has it. He makes the throw to first. Two down. The batter number 13. Striding in First is stop. Nick Ahmed. It's Nick. been an 0 for 2 effort oh, for man. him to this point. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Outside and a full count, three and two. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Rangers set down in order. Score holds, it's three to one. Brett Martin will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Ready to begin the eighth and digging in is the DH, the switch hitter, Willie Castro. Willie Castro. First offering. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Now the Rangers get a reliever up and throwing in the bullpen as a right handers begun to warm up out there. The 1 0. And he missed again, high and away this time. Three and one. Seth Beer will be next. The three one. This one's flared down the right field line. Right fielder coming on, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, D. Row. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice AB. Into the box, Seth Beer, as he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1 0. He's two for three and looking for more here. Now a throw over to first. Oh, Runner good. back safely. Castro gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And that's right there and we're even at one. You know most people would be surprised he took that right there because that looked like it was in his honey hole. He had to obviously be sitting on something else. 
Walker will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So now next back. to bat will be Mike Trout. Mike. Yeah. First delivery to him. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. He's set. Here's the 0 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's 1 and 2 now. Working for the punch out and the offering. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Into the corner and slicing foul. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. To the plate now, Joey Gallo. And she'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Oh and one count and the pitch pitch misses low the throw down low throw and he can't handle the short hop. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2 2. He is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Back to back strikeouts keep them out of danger. More to come on MLB Network Sunday Baseball after this. Gaylord Rosario will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Digging in will be Jordan Cowan. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. The third baseman, Jordan Cowan. First pitch on its way. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. The Halos are maintaining a slim lead in the late going of this series finale, so if they can wrap it up, they'll complete the series sweep. Hey, Matt, what a great spot to be in. You're playing good baseball. You're going for the sweep, and you're leading by a few runs going into the later innings. Now it's just time to close the deal. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one-two. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough now out number one. Fielder, so one gone now in the Texas half of the eighth. And that'll bring up the outfielder Clint Frazier. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. And it certainly would be a big morale boost to a team if they're able to complete a sweep like this one on the road in hostile territory. They might even change their nickname for this team to the Road Warriors. A sweep is looking pretty good as they're leading this one again late in the ballgame. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike.
cut fastball that time but he doesn't bite and now it's three and one a three one count tying run on deck good spot to be a hitter right now you have to look for something middle in too close for comfort and he did a good job just to make contact crowd gets up for the three two oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Well, he battled to get it to a 3 2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Next to hit is Tony Walters. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep, but if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. As a look, now the pitch. These are the moments that don't always show up on the highlight film right here. Big spot. They have a chance right here. This guy mixes in a knock. They have a chance to get right back in this game. If not, if he grounds into a double play, it's pretty much over. Now the one and one pitch. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. On he pops it up. Candelario trying to get there and this will not be caught it's a foul ball oh a fastball swung on and missed and for the second time today he's gone on strikes got him with a good high fastball there Danny we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days what makes it so effective I think Matt what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels that fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter do you think you can drive it but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball at the plate now steel Walker one ball no strikes the count Frazier leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning ball two now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it. He handles it easily and the inning is over. Rangers leave one. They still trail it here three to one. Henry Zavala enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. set to start the ninth in this one and next to bat will be the first baseman Jared Walsh and now pitch on the way and we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here nothing in one swing and a liner but this will get foul for strike two the wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And that is into right field. So the leadoff man's aboard here to kick off the ninth. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is, they're looking to line them, drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two strike adjustment, able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. And that brings up Javi Baez. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And this is hauled in on the run for the out. And he had a lot of ground to cover to get to that one. So a runner at first now with one away. And that will bring in D.J. LeMayhew. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Runner, Runner 
runners on the move for second. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw. Well, they've got a small lead, and they're pushing to add to it by being aggressive on the base pass. But as a manager, you just hope you're not giving up outs that you wish you could have had back. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and a strike. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. Swing and he rockets this one down the left field line. And that'll get down out there near the wall. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Into the box now, Reese McGuire. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. One and zero pitch on the way, line towards center field. Walker gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. Angels strand one as the lead remains three to one. Ryan Presley takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and set to go is the second baseman, Davis Wenzel. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope, that's ball. Ball one, no strike. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. And that is the start they were looking for down by two as that misses for ball four. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. And now here is Roger O'Doul as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Loves hitting left-handed off for right-handed pitchers. Hitting over 300 against right-handed pitching. First offering on its way. Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish himself back into the strike zone. Would have liked to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive in that situation. Usually when a pitcher throws four balls in a row, that next pitch you could get super greedy right down the middle. Now the 0-1. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first out. Now back. So a runner at first now with one away. And now here's Nate Lowe. Set and the pitch. Wenzel stands at first with one out. And there's ball one. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right here. They have to find a way to keep applying pressure. I don't know. Everybody top step in the dugout. Get on this guy and make him nervous. 
in there. A base hit. The throw to third. And he's safe. So he waited till the ninth inning, but he comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there. He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he didn't. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on you because you're walking into that batter's box thinking, I have a nice streak going, and this is more than likely going to be my last A.B. He comes through in the clutch. So now to the plate, Ryan McBroom. As the fastball is swung on and missed, good location down at the knees for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making him work for this one. One one home he is swung on and missed and that's strike two big pitch coming up right here he'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout one and two here it comes and he lays off it to even the count two and two runners are at the corners with one man out. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, no with two outs, 13. it becomes a lot more Short difficult stop. to manufacture yeah. that guy home. Probably oh, need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Standing in now, Nick Ahmed. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. And they're runners at the corners now. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Hit high in the air down the right field line. And he will make the catch to end it. And the Angels go on the road and sweep their division rivals in this three game series. 3 to 1 the final score this afternoon. The Los Angeles Angels used a nice fifth inning to take the lead and they never gave it back. John Means earns his first win of the season. Ryan Presley records the save, his third of the campaign. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious.